President Muhammad Buhari recently nominated 43 ministers and the Senate has begun the process of screening the nominees for confirmation. Roots TV takes a look at some of the most controversial nominees on Buhari's list. Senator Godzilla Pabio. Former Governor of Akwai Bom and former Senator Godzilla Pabio is arguably the most controversial nominee on the list. Prior to his nomination, factions within Akwabio's own party, the APC, told the president not to appoint a Pabio minister due to the corruption allegations trailing him. The group under the aegis of the Ibom Integrity Initiative also accused Akwabio of being integrity deficient, petty and mischievous. Akwabio first came under investigation in 2015 when he was accused of diverting 108 billion naira from Akwabom during his tenure as governor. Akwabio is also being investigated for acquiring assets including five mansions worth billions of naira. Other allegations against him include giving a gift of 1.4 billion naira to a bank for a known reason. In 2017, St. John Paul School, Uyo, belonging to Akwabio's wife, was seized by the EFCC during its investigation. Although Akwabio has denied his allegations, he is still being investigated by the EFCC. Timmy Press Silva, former governor of Bielsa State, Timmy Press Silva is another controversial person on the list. EFCC's radar fell on Silva in 2012, in 2013, and again in 2015, when it leveled a 50 count charge bordering on fraud and embezzlement of state funds against the ex governor. Silva was charged with diverting 19.2 billion naira as governor and acquiring 48 personal buildings with illicit funds. However, any judgment that was considered largely unsatisfactory by the public and Abuja High Court in 2015 threw out Silva's case on the basis that the unending prosecution of Silva constituted an abuse of court process. Silva's case was also struck out in 2012 and 2013 prior to the final decision in 2015. Although the EFCC vowed to take Silva's case to the Court of Appeal, it never did. The EFCC said that Silva got away because of the judiciary, which it described as an obstacle to the war on corruption. Interestingly, Festus Kiamo, SAN, another ministerial nominee, was the EFCC's counsel during its prosecution of Timmy Press Silva. Lai Mohammed, the former Minister of Information and Culture, made Buhari's list again. Lai Mohammed was caught in a number of lies and unsubstantiated statements in his first term as minister. Some include falsely claiming in 2018 that the federal government spends 3.5 million naira monthly to feed the detained leader of the Islamic movement in Nigeria, Sheikh Ibrahim El Zagzaki. In 2015, Lai claimed that Boko Haram had been degraded and defeated. Four years later, Boko Haram remains a major threat. In 2016, when the United States warned its citizens against traveling to 20 out of the 36 states in Nigeria, which they considered unsafe, Lai replied and said that there is no part of Nigeria that is not safe. Nine days later, Boko Haram opened fire on a village in Borno State, burning down the entire village in the process. In July 2015, Lai assured Nigerians that the ministerial nominees will be announced in a couple of days. Buhari did not reveal the list until three months later. Lai came under fire in 2018 when he reportedly claimed that 100 aircrafts had been deployed to search for the abducted Dapchi girls, a claim that was vehemently denied by the Air Force. Earlier this year, Lai Mohammed was implicated in a 2.5 billion naira fraud case. Although the ministerial nominee claims he was misled into approving the payment of 2.5 billion naira to a private company, the case is still in court. Rotimi Amici, the ex-governor of River State and former Minister of Transportation, made the list again. The bedrock of Amici's achievements in his first term as minister remains his dedication to railway transportation, notably the Abuja Kaduna and Lagos Ibadan rail lines. In 2016, Yesomwiki, Amici's successor, accused him of looting $150 million from River State to sponsor Buhari's 2015 election. Wiki, however, failed to present any proof to back up his claims. The River State Judicial Commission, however, accused Amechi and others of allegedly misappropriating 97 billion naira through the sale of state assets. According to reports, however, although Amechi has denied these claims, the case is still in court. 
In January 2019, Reno Omakri released a series of audio recordings reported to be of Amici criticizing the administration of his close political ally, President Buhari. Amici, however, dismissed the recording as false. Three years of Buhari, everybody is dying, crying. Pressmen are crying, farmers are crying, <laughs> workers are crying, politicians are crying, students are crying. <laughs> Three years ago. In the recording, the ministerial nominee can be heard saying that Nigeria is going nowhere. This country is going nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> Not, in, you know, even if you divide the country to ten, to see no change. No, I'm not joking. When my was, was my SSG, I told him this country is hopeless, hopeless, and helpless. Roots TV, Nigeria.